Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to talk about gravity and find out if gravity is the strongest force in the universe. So is gravity the strongest force? And this in this case, our answer is no. Gravity is actually the weakest of the four forces of nature. And we see those here in our little diagram. There are several different forces. And why do we tend to think of gravity as the strongest? Well, it's the one we are the most familiar with. Why? Because it acts over great distances. Now two of these forces do not act over large distances. And that is the two nuclear forces here, the strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force. They act only over atomic distances. And when particles get too far apart, there is no force between them any longer from that force. Now the electromagnetic force does act over larger distances, but it is so much stronger than gravity that things tend to be neutral. So let's take a look at this and let's take a look at these four forces of nature. So what we have is first of all the strong nuclear force. This is the strongest of those four forces and it will actually hold the nucleons together. A nucleon is a proton or a neutron and they are bound together in the nucleus. Now we know that this is the strongest force because the nucleus of an atom generally contains multiple protons. Unless you're talking about hydrogen which has only one every other element has at least uh, more than one proton in it. So for example, carbon, which makes up our bodies, has six protons very close together. Well, those protons are all positively charged. And if we ignore the strong nuclear force, the nucleus should split itself apart because of the electromagnetic force, which would repel those charges. However, the strong nuclear force binds them together. And over the very short distances of the atomic nucleus, it will uh, keep things together that would otherwise come apart because of the electromagnetic force. Now, gravity, again, is the weakest of these four forces. And we can kind of see a demonstration of that here. Here we have a magnetic uh, object. So we have a magnet down here and then we have a small metal plate up above it. And you can see, especially in the second one, that this is actually being held up by the magnetic force. And what that means is that the, the force there, that electromagnetic force is stronger than gravity. Gravity pulls everything down. Why does this not fall down? Because the gravitational force is not strong enough to overcome the force of the magnet there. And that means that the gravitational force is weaker. So this small magnet right there pushing up is much stronger than the entire force of the Earth pulling down on that small object. Now we can also have the weak nuclear force. This is stronger than gravity, but weaker than the other two forces that we see. And let's take a look at it here. And this is actually has to do with nuclear decay. And in the weak nuclear force, a neutron within an atom will decay into a proton. So it will change into a proton. Now that would change charge because a proton has a positive charge and a neutron has no charge. Now, in order to keep the charges balanced, it also has to form an electron. And that means you have a positive and a negative charge here. So you have no net charge on this side, no net charge on this side. And then there's also a neutrino that's produced. So the weak nuclear force has to do with nuclear decay. So these are the four forces of nature that we see, the strongest being the strong nuclear force and the weakest being the gravitational force. So what, where are some effects that we see the gravitational force? Well, let's take a look at that. And we can look at one of them here in the resonances of Jupiter. So here we see the gravitational force and how everything ends up being tidally locked to Jupiter. So why do the other forces not get involved here? Well, first of all, we're looking at large distances. So there is no strong nuclear force or weak nuclear force involved between a planet and its moons. The electromagnetic force does not matter because the charge is zero. Both the planet and the moons are essentially neutral. And that means there's no electromagnetic force 
So the gravitational force is the only thing left that actually works over these large distances. So that's the problem is that these two work only over small distances. And the electromagnetic force does not usually apply because most things in the universe are neutral. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary. And what we've looked at this time is that gravity is actually the weakest of the four forces of nature. But it acts over large distances, so we're actually more familiar with it than we are with the other forces. The nuclear forces only are active over the tiny distance of the nucleus, and the electromagnetic force is generally zero because the charges tend to be neutral. So that concludes this discussion on gravity and why it is not the strongest force of nature. We'll be back again next time for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.